Hey guys, it is Maddie here again. We are going to be working on our flexibility today. Um, in today's video, it is going to be our in-depth stretching along with some kicking phrases. So yeah, let's go ahead. Now before we start our warm up, we're going to go through our five S's to begin with. Sanitize, if you have a sink and soap at home, wash your hands. If not, grab some hand sanitizer. Make sure all of the equipment that you're using is clean and hygienic. Um, ensure you have enough space. So make sure you can move your arms, make sure you can move your body, make sure you don't hit anything. Um, our safety, so ensuring that you're not gonna do anything that's out of your skill limit. Make sure you're doing everything that you're capable of. Um, remaining sensible, so Try not to be silly, don't do anything that's out of your skill limit again. And a soft surface, so if you have carpet, if you have a mat, a quilt, pillows, just lay them underneath yourself to make sure that everything is safe. Hey guys, so before we get into our stretching, we do need to warm up our muscles. Um, so making sure everything is safe around you, if you're on a hard surface, having shoes on. And yeah, let's go into it. So to start with, let's do 10 star jumps and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Now we're going to do ten lunge jumps. So our front leg bends slightly and our back leg is straight. And one, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Now we're just going to do some running on the spot for 10 seconds and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And to finish off with, we're going to do 10 big long squat jumps. So we go down and we stretch up long. One, down, two, down, three, down, four, down, five, down, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Okay. Moving on to our standing stretches, looking down to the ground. And putting your ear on your shoulder. Circle your head one way. And the other way. Good, stretching one arm across. And the other arm. And reach that arm up, bend, and lean over whilst you do it. And change arms. Circle your arms to the back. And to the front. And circling your elbows. And the other way. And circling your wrists. And the other way. And making sure your feet are apart, we're going to circle our hips one way, nice and slow. Making sure you're pushing to every side that you're going to and circle around the other way. And side to side. So when we do this, we want to try and push our hip out to the side, feeling the stretch in our glutes. Good. Now with your feet apart, 
stretch up tall and fold yourself down, reaching to one foot. Just go as far as you can, making sure that your legs are straight. And up tall and stretch over to the other foot. Good, and coming up, now just on the spot, you're going to put your feet together, going to point up one foot, tuck it under, and you're going to bend both legs so you're feeling your stretch at the front of your foot. And changing feet, so pointing the toe, making sure your feet stay parallel, you don't want to stickle your feet out to the side, and bending, feeling the stretch in the front of the foot. Good, and just some ankle raises. We're gonna do 10, so we rise up and down, trying to keep your heels together. In three, in four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Good, now keeping your feet together, you're going to stretch up tall, and try and fold yourself down into your pike stretch. And rolling up slowly. Good, now roll down slowly and do the same thing. So in your pike stretch. If you can't quite touch the floor like me, just make sure that you're keeping your legs straight, feeling the stretch at the back of your legs. If you can touch the floor, grab behind your legs and pull yourself closer. And rolling up. Good, now let's get into our sitting stretch. Hey guys, so on to our floor stretching. Um, in this part of the stretch, just make sure there's enough space around you. Um, just go up into your ability, don't try and push yourself too far. So we will do progression stretches into the final stretch, but um, if you feel the need that you have to come out of it, if you feel it's too hard for you, just take it a step so it's a bit easier for you. You don't wanna push and stretch the wrong way because then that'll prevent, well, that'll create an injury. When we stretch, we just wanna prevent injuries and also making sure our muscles individually are stretching to what our body is able to do. Okay, so in your butterfly shape, you want your feet to be glued together. Um, we're just going to rock side to side, holding onto your ankles. When you do this, you want to try and push your elbows into your knees while you're doing it. You don't want to just let your knees do whatever they want. So you do want to put pressure down and rock side to side. And now we're going to rotate and circle around one way. and circle around the other way. So again, when you come forward, you wanna put pressure onto your knees. Good, and we're going to shake our hips. So especially in this, you still wanna have a bit of pressure down. You don't wanna let them rock too out of control. So just slightly shake and putting that pressure and stretching forward. We're gonna hold it for 10, nine, eight, Seven. If you're finding this too easy, you can put pressure on your knees again and go down. Five, four, three, two, one, and coming up. And now we're going to extend one leg out to the side and keeping that other leg in our butterfly shape. Still having flexed foot, flexed feet. So we want both feet to be flexed. And we're going to stretch over to one leg. The leg that's straight with our other knee we don't want it to come up when we're stretching forward we want to try and keep it as flat as we can go but also making sure we're stretching so this you should feel at the back here and you should feel it along your groin if you're stretching over correctly we don't want to push ourselves too close because we do want to feel the stretch at the back joining your feet 
Extending the other leg. So again, flexed feet and stretching across. So again, you should be feeling the stretch mostly in your lower back on the side and potentially along your inner thigh. Good, now we're going to put our legs into our straddle. So whenever we do our straddle, we do want our knees to be facing up to the roof. We never want them to turn in because then that creates a bad alignment with the hip flexors. So having them always being focused on pointing up to the roof, along with your feet, you want the front part of your foot, the top, to always be facing the roof. You don't want it to be facing to the side with your legs turned in like this. So always focus on keeping them apart. Um, and facing up to the roof. Arms out to the side. This one, we're going to cross our arm down and we're going to put the other arm up and go over to the side. Good, and then we're going to pull this arm out and fold ourselves on top of our leg. So if you can only get this far with straight legs, I would prefer you to do that rather than trying to get down with a bent leg. Now the other leg, so crossing your arm down, other arm up, leaning over to the side. So with this, you also want to try and pull your shoulder up and open. So we're stretching this side part out lat. We don't want to be caved in because that'll be the next part. Okay, now unfolding the arm and folding your body along your leg. So again, if you can only get this far with a straight leg, just go to there. If you can get all the way down with a straight leg, that's awesome. Also remembering to be focused on your knees staying up to the roof and being straight. We don't want our knees to be bent or to be turned in. And now with our hands in the middle, we're going to slide them out so we're completely forward. So same one again, if we turn our legs in, it's going to create the wrong technique for our hip flexors. So keeping them turned up to the roof, toes and feet also pointing up, that'll be the right technique. Good, and walking back up. Now into our pike stretch. So feet together, night legs stay straight. You don't want to let them bend and just go as far as you can. So walking your hands out, we're gonna hold it for 10, nine, eight. If you're finding this too easy, you can flex your feet and then feel it in your sciatica. Five, four, three, two, one, and coming up. Good, now we're going to go up onto our knees and you're going to put your leg in front. So if you were here last week, you would know that um, we always want our foot to be in front of our knee. So lunging forward. We do want to be able to see our toe and foot over our knee if we put our hands down and look over. If that's easy, you can push up, just remembering to keep the knee and foot parallel and straight in the front leg. So you want your supporting leg to be at a 90 degree angle and your leg in front is straight. Okay, from here, we're going to try and slide our foot out as far as we can until we can potentially get into our split. So I'll face it diagonal. So from here, just slightly go out as far as you can. If you can only get slightly out, just stay there. If you can go all the way out, that's amazing. Just remember to keep your back knee tucked under, keeping your hip turned in. And you also want to try and focus on keeping your legs squeezed and both hands stay on either side of your hips. So from this stretch, this is the main progression stretch into our splits. 
So um, if it's your first time trying the splits, don't try and get down all the way the first time. Just go to this position and slide out, hold it as long as you can. Then take a deep breath in, slide out, and so on. And now we're going to change legs. So putting the other leg in front. Oh, this diagonal again. So making sure our knee is not over our toes. We want our toes to be in front. So to make it easier, start with a straight leg and then lunge into it. That'll create the best open hip for this stretch. Good, and from here you're going to straighten your front leg, keeping your back leg at that 90 degree angle. And from here, we're going to slide out as far as you can into your splits. So again, with this, you want to keep your back hip tucked under. You want to have straight knees. You don't want to have your knees turned in and your hips and everything relaxed to the side. You do want everything to be tucked under like you would from the stretch prior to this one. So again, if you're here and it's your first time trying the splits, just go to here, try and hold it, and then take a deep breath in, take a deep breath out, and try and go out a little bit. Don't try and push yourself to go all the way down the first time. Good, and coming out of your splits. So now this time we're going to do our froggy stretch. So our knees will go out to the side, our hips our bottom and our knees want to create one straight line so we are going to go onto our elbows and we're just going to slide our knees out to the side so there's one on either side good and if you're finding the frog stretch easy you can go into your side split stretch Good, and slide through, and you're going to push up into your seal, keeping your feet together to squeeze at the back. Good, and pushing back into your child's pose. So feeling the stretch in your lower back. Good, and that is our in-depth stretching. Now let's move on to kicks today. So we are going to do our kicks completely laying down um, and only focusing on straight leg kicks. So with this, you wanna focus mostly on keeping everything squeezed and understanding how to squeeze every part of your body at the same time. So when you're laying down, it might be best to put your arms out to the side. Um, this way you can push your arms into the floor. We're going to do five kicks on our right leg, five kicks on our left leg, then we're going to roll to the side and do kicks to the side, okay? Ready, starting with a leg. When you're doing this, you might be looking at the TV, but just listen to my voice. You wanna keep your head nice and straight, also looking up. You don't wanna have your head leaning to the side because then when we get to our beam, we might have a habit of going to the side with our head. So pushing your arms down into the ground, squeezing your legs. Let's do five kicks on our leg. One, two, three. Making sure your feet join back together. Four, together. Five, together. Good. Now on your other leg, ready and go. One, two, three, four, Five, good. So when we also do our kicks, we wanna make sure both of, our, both of our hips stay into the floor. We don't wanna have our hips moving side to side and our hip lifting off the ground when we do our kicks, especially our front kicks. Okay, now laying on your side. For your side kicks, you can use your other arm to have support into the floor. Um, making sure your knees are facing up to the roof. And let's do five on this leg and go one, 
two, three, four, five. Good. Now let's switch to do five on the other leg. So again, using that other arm for support, other hand on the floor, and go one, two, making sure your feet join back together. Four and five. Good. Now on our knees, actually we'll do it laying down. With these kicks, you do want to keep both hips into the ground. When you kick to the back, you don't want to lift your hip off the floor. So even if it is a slight kick like that, we're just going to aim for that. Ready? Keeping your head straight again. So resting your chin on the floor, pressing your hands down into the floor as well. And kicking one leg five times. Go one and two. And keeping your back leg straight. Three four, five, and the other leg, one, two, three, four, five, good, and coming up, so today was about our in-depth stretching, um, also doing kicks, so depending on your ability, you can hold your stretches for longer, you can do them more sets, so holding your splits for 10 seconds, coming out of it, holding a stretch for 10 seconds, coming out of it, kicks, you can add more. So if five is too easy, you can make it 10, you can make it 20. Um, just challenge yourself, but also stay within your ability. You don't wanna push yourself too far to the point where you hurt yourself. Yeah.